Hey, welcome back. This is Raj. You guys saw me try with Samson, so we're going to try maybe with Samson again. So, I got the mouse over here. I'm just going to jump over and get to the highlights for the first one. Start with a matchstick. That's alright. I don't remember what the matchstick does off the top of my head. Basically, I'm going to show every gold room and every boss room. So, we've got Halo of Flies, and now we've got some shot blockers. And we're finding Pin, because I didn't even check the other rooms. Pin, Samson, I think I've already shown this before. Okay, beat Pin. Lost the soul heart, picked up a whole heart, so. That rhymes. I picked up a key and I'm opening a gold room where we get the Game Boy. The Game Kid. This is really this is a really useful item. This is a game kid by the way. See me chomping on everything? You go invincible and you can just eat all the enemies and they turn bluish like Pac-Man monsters. That's the joke essentially behind it. Gotta pick up the key and Oh hey, I picked up the world card and I found the secret. I found that this is technically a super secret room. That's why it's a darker secret room. And the boss is the Blighted Ovum. I'll just talk through this one. The super secret room is a room that's unique in every... Um, there's like one in every floor, just like there's a secret room in every floor. And unlike the secret rooms of other floors, like the normal secret rooms, it isn't like usually in like connected two or three rooms. It's almost always connected, just a one-off on a room. And so you have Blighted Ovum, pretty easy to fight if you can walk. But then again, right now... He's at literally outrunning me, so this is funny. I don't know how the game kid works against bosses, but we pick up more health. I somehow got damaged. And let's drop down. By the way, the world shows me this. How about that? And I died, because these guys are really dumb, and I couldn't kill them. Round two. We're starting at this round with a mini mushroom, where we get super tiny, our speed goes up, our range goes up, and our hitbox goes down, so that's good. Good. Ooh, we're fighting Wrath. And I died because I got caught by a bomb. Round three. And we're starting with uh, Lil Chubby, who's a familiar who can... who tags enemies like... just goes like, nom 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 nom. And I'll use this familiar on Larry Jr. I think... I don't know if he pierces, but we'll see if he does. Because if he does, it's... Oh, champion. Oh yes, he pierces. Look at that. Did you see that one... one hit? Yeah, um... This is hilarious. I don't know about you. These bosses don't like pooping, apparently. So I gotta get him in the line again, cause oh god, Jesus Christ, this is hilarious. I don't think I've ever destroyed a boss so hard. So we got lunch, an eternal heart, which will give us another max heart and a soul heart. So now we're walking into floor two, three hearts, and a familiar that just raped a champion boss. This is uh, this this is the run of this episode. Guess who couldn't find a single key or bomb in this entire floor full of blue rocks blocking entrances and whatnot. Ah, oh, God, I hope famine. I hope something explodes and gives me a key. That'd be really useful, but famine's about to get annihilated by Samson. I can I can see this one just as soon as I just gotta get blood shots once I get blood shots. But the familiar can't take him, so. Look at the damage, look at that damage. Look at that damage. That damage. So now I got blood shots, so. I believe the term is just destroying his face at the moment. Because you just need this sight down, and nope, didn't get a single key, no bomb, so I missed out on a goal item. Which, coincidentally, is what you have to do to get Samson in the first place. Oh hey, we finally got a key and some coins. We finally got a bomb, which I'm going to use on this rock to go get to this pill. And this pill here does bad gas, how about that? Oh hey, we can get the detonator, which lets us activate our own bombs, which is not very useful, but it's right near the end, so... The end being the boss, so we're finding the hollow. The hollow is actually a fun one because it's diagonal and whatnot, so you gotta like watch your angles. And they don't leave poop everywhere, so. But this one's also I can't abuse as much with uh, what's his face, so I guess I can, but I just gotta line it up right. There we go, there we go, there we go. We're, we're, we're making it work, we're putting in work, more to say. We're just slowly nibbling it down. There we go. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Here we go, right there. And so we can get a Devil's Deal, which I may need at this rate if I want this run to per persevere. We're going to see over here that we can get Gubby's Paw over that. Yep. Going for it. Damage up. Significantly increases your damage, so we're just gonna go off that. My name is Isaac, and I am dancing the detonator dance. And we got a pill, which will give us range down. Ooh, we 
get the scapular, which might really come in handy, because these these Samson runs have been really, really bad. And if I am smart, I'm going to... Yep. I bet right. Free money. I'm doing the detonator dance, detonator dance, detonator dance. Pestulence. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm doing the det dance on the dance floor, the D-E-T on the D-A-N's. So, here we go, here we go, spawning. He's just spawning boiling blobs everywhere. If I was going to try to use the detonator right, we're going to throw down a bomb. Just wait. I'm just going to wait. By the way, Jesus, he just launched five. Let's wait till it gets a bit close to it. How about a bit closer? How about that close? Blow up all his buddies. So, after doing the DET on the DA ants, we're just going to pick up another shot blocker, except it's not another shot blocker, it's an upgraded one, so now I got two got two fighters fighting furiously for me. The depths. I got one key and I can go into the shop with the gold room, going into the shop in the hopes of getting something good, and I guess I did, the, sh the habit, item martyr, I forget what it does, but it can't be bad, and I'm just going to talk all the way up to the boss, because I can pretty much commentate the rest, this is going to be my last run, because it's like four runs, all really short, but the thing is... Uh, this time, I've just had poor luck. I mean, I couldn't catch a single break, and I never got anything really, really good power-ups without dying. Ooh, War, this is good. If I can kill War, that means I get a Meat Boy. And if I get a Meat Boy, I can, you know, do meaty things. So he has an Anarchist Cookbook, essentially. So you just gotta be careful of that one. And try not to be slightly angled to him. And War going down. He doesn't like to spawn anybody, apparently. No. Apparently that doesn't count as part of my Samson's bloodlust. So yeah, when he gets into this mode, he just chases really fast, but that's about it. So you can drop a bomb, and then BAM! Just hit him with the... hit him with the... hit him with the boom. So yeah, now I got a little meatball. I got two full-fledged familiars, except one runs around and does damage, so that may actually be a prime damage source. Maybe not to mom, though, when she pops out her portions that may actually do something. So now we're in the necropolis and we're fighting these we're fighting it's like we're fighting alternate versions of myself with this familiar. So as they are flinging around these things, we're just gonna juke them out. Pick a bum. Gonna run right. And more of these things. I hope getting this thing didn't influence these because these are notoriously some of the harder enemies to dodge just because of the sheer time they hang around. So, this isn't even a room with enemies, it's just to dodge all the damaging stuff. That would be really useful right now to get over there, but I can't without taking damage, so we're not going to risk it. So, now we fight more of these. This is kind of weird. I, yeah, Scapular's going to have to be put in... Scapular's doing overtime this run through. So, and so is Meat Boy. Meat Boy. Meat Boy's ca carrying the team at the moment. <laughs> Just run around doing damage from the back and get a matchstick again, but you know what? I don't think so, and I can't even get that chest, so run all the way around since I can't. I've also gotten nearly no keys. I've, I've missed my. Missing all the gold rooms has significantly hampered this run through as well, so. If I can make it even to mom, that'd be more than impressed. Because at this rate, I, I'm, I'm hanging in there by a thread. That's about it. So, these guys... Are you kidding me? Scapular didn't go off because I exploded. Like I said, this isn't very exciting, but... I'll see y'all next time. Here I am back again, like 30 seconds later, when I realized I had virtually no film at all. Today we're just going to do one of these. This, these are challenges. And the one I want to do, uh, let's see, Nine Deaths, Lord of the Flies, Spider Boy, Isaac was good today. Meet Forever. This one's a fun one. This one will be the thing that I'll show you guys for a long time. You start out with a like level 4 Meat Boy who destroys everything, but there are no gold rooms, but you play as Isaac, so you actually start out with <laughs> real health. And so while Meat Boy does, does a pretty big load, it's up to you to go around and power yourself up to hopefully, like, you know, pass through this challenge without dying, so here we go. Like, see, there's a boss room actually right here, so I'm gonna use this bomb to pick up a key since- Oh god, I forgot Meat Boy. Meat Boy moves, moves bombs. Meat Boy moves bombs. Actually, I don't have enough money yet, so there's no point in even looking for a shop. So we're gonna start out finding Duke of Flies. Watch Meat Boy do work. Like real talk. 
me, boy. He's gonna start running over there. He's gonna start killing him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. There he goes. There he goes. Watch him go. Watch him go. You see that? You see that? You see that sick work? And the only powers we can get off of bosses are our bosses and that. So, got some Jesus juice to get some damage, and let's go to the bottom. Not to the bottom, to the floor after. Um, this is a. Uh, these challenges, each one is like a separate thing, but they unlock like an individual achievement thing, and you unlock a little mini, uh, you unlock an item based off that, and so it can be kind of cool. I can't remember what this one gives off the top of my head, but see, it's a good thing I changed the key out for that, so, uh, of course, keys aren't going to come in that handy since I don't need, have any gold rooms to go through, but I can pick up more money, so, oh yeah, this end, this room, I always love these rooms, because they just kill themselves, and so... <laughs> You can just let him do with the fire, with the fire be your weapon, and with the weapon of fire, you just break everything else. Or if they don't want to touch the fire, you just break them yourself. So go over here, pick up a tarot card, death, Necronomicon like thing. What the achievement? I'm just gonna use death here and see, bam, room done. Keep on going. And I actually have enough health that I'm gonna go in here because see, oh my God, yes, 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 yes. I got spectral shots and I can float around and I have a bomb so I might as well go over to here because if I go over here I can just do this and bam and back out and I can pick up half a heart so um, that was uh, what we like to call very 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 worthwhile because these are the almost some of the only ways you can get power ups here and I have 13 money so I'm going to run around a bit more to a few more rooms just so I can get enough for a 15 item because the shop's standard price is 15. I can actually pop up in the shop, see if there's anything. Yeah, I want the compass. The compass is going to come in handy. So I just need two more coins. So let's see what kind of coins we can get down here. Like, look, look at me, boy. And since my shots go through walls, I can just, you know, kind of cheese it. Got one of those coins. Now I just need to get one more. Where am I going to find one coin? Gish, give me a coin. No, a key. Oh, come on. I did not open up that. I did not open up that thing. I got Now I got to check the fire. Because the fire occasionally gives you money, and the fire don't give me my money. Oh yeah, it's really hard to put out fires. And okay, I wasted a key, but you know what? Uh, we can make the most of it. Because if we go over here, we can pick up absolutely nothing important but another key. So, or don't tell me one of these would give me a coin, or I'm going to be mad. Don't give me a coin. Don't give me a coin. Don't make me mad. I'm going to be very mad. Okay, thank God. So let's go to the boss. And as we see the boss here, Larry Jr., since my shots go through everything, or I believe they do, or Meat Boy just does work. Oh no, they stop through, they stop, they can't pierce enemies, but Meat Boy pierces their hearts and souls, apparently. So, we're just gonna do some of these, and if I stand on the rock, it doesn't even matter, it's all dead. Um, my tears go up, pick up a spear heart, and uh, let's keep on dropping down. This run will be the girth of the video, but I don't even care. I was hoping to get really far with Samson like the other times, but it just doesn't work. And yeah, like, my shoot, my, I can hide behind the rock while I just fire my tears into them. Like, I have a tear gun, a spectral tear gun. It pierces their hearts and souls. And since I can walk on walls, I can walk over land and everything. I'm picking up, where were these keys last run through? Tell me that. So, um, I can give this guy money and he might give me something, so that's actually worthwhile. He'll give me something 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 worthwhile. Hell yes! Look at that. See, I know, I know how to do this challenge. This challenge, I got, I got, I got on the ropes. I can, I, I ain't need no goal room. So now I can move over to the side and kind of break this room since you're supposed to not be able to walk through walls. And so, just did you see that move? I got that one off of the Matrix. So. Uh, now we fight a room full of spiders, but the spiders just get broken, so it also takes a while for me to blow up TNT now, because uh, just the way my shots work, and I also get blown up by it because I'm an idiot, so we're just going to blow up this TNT and blow up uh, this TNT right here, so there's that. Over here, more spiders, but we're just going to play the cheap game and have Meat Boy, you know, take him to town, and I'm going to pick up uh, nothing except for more bombs. Over here, we're going to see that there's a chest full of spirit heart and a bomb. This kid's going to be quickly, like, look at Meat Boy. I'm, I'm just going to talk to this one just to, like, look, look at him. Look at him do work. Look at Meat Boy. Meat Boy, do work. He does work. He's a very, he's very obedient. 
and uh, I'm watch this. And I think I believe he actually damages these things while they're. Yeah, look at that. He's like an anti this thingy, as an annoying as all hell thingy. So I'm gonna run left, left. We see. And this game more and more. Uh, the more I play it, the more it. Uh, I just realized that this is just really good, like design in general. Like it's the controls feel like they make sense, the physics of all of it, like I know it's weird and jank every now and then there's some bugs, but that's like nothing big. And it, it has a unique, like they they did this in a very, very unique fashion, not seen very often. So wait, is there a hidden room up here? Just checking, nope, huh, I'm surprised. So now we can go to a blood donation machine where we aren't going to give blood, but we're gonna have to give meat. But over here we get justice, just us. And so now we pick up all these, because they give you a heart, a coin, a bomb, and a key, so... Fighting Blighted Ovum again, like I fought the other time in this part of the thing. Ooh, there's a blue rock. And I can walk over the thingy, so that baby is going to fire a laser at me, because he's very unfortunately positioned relative to me. So, so yeah, that's how I blew them all up. Oh my god, this run is just getting better. Meat Boy, what are you doing? <laughs> Scaring me. So, over here, please be a white heart. Oh, Miter. This is really, really good. This significantly increases our chance of getting spirit hearts. And, like, see, like, normally we're a little bit overflowing with, the, like, you know, the normal heart upgrades, but the Miter, the Miter changes that. It, it ups the chance of, uh, regular old spirit hearts so we're just gonna go over here troll ball me so you can only run to the corners essentially to save yourself from that you can go to the arena in which there is a white heart which I will pick up after I do all these fightings because I want to get even more health Jesus this run could not be going any better so I'm gonna sit in the corner and break one of these meat guys. Meat Boy also just destroys these things because he can just sit there and deal damage by existing. And so we've got one of those down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm juking him in and out. I'm going to pick up this eternal heart because you know what? I'm risky. So risky, brisky, frisky, lisky. So over here we see that there's these things. I pretty much can't be hit more than twice. I can't be hit twice in the rest until I clear this floor. So push tack, which, uh, push pin, not push tack, I don't know why I said that. Over here we see more flies, which Meat Boy promptly takes care of. And I was going to run to that room, but now that I have the internal heart, I can't really do that. So, we're just gonna run down, and when we get the run down on the run down, we're gonna just go through everything. Jesus Christ, no, 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 now I can't be hit, now I can't be hit on the rest of the floor, but you know what, we're gonna take that risk and I blew it so yeah now I'm gonna go back to that other room and go through it since I can do that now there's also a glitch where if you can fly you don't take damage going in and ooh, 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 please be good something good and we just got guppy's tail cursed that does something can't remember yeah we take damage exiting but this is like usually a like sacrifice you know like devil steel item so this one really 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 good I want to find something over here. I want to know. Can you show me? Show me the money. So we're just gonna dodge that. Thing. And you know, to start out with me not being very, this is a motion. I, I did this challenge once before, and I got nowhere near this strong. The range on those enemies is ridiculous, by the way. And now we're fighting Wrath, who is significantly countered by Meat Boy and his bomb kicking abilities, and special, especially spectral tears, and it's rock piercing abilities and Wrath is dead so we can pick up uh, Mr. Mega oh no Mr. Boom and now we got a portable bomb whenever we want which I guess has its uses but okay I've never seen a champion version of that thing before so that's kinda cool and it's dead that's kinda cool so Meat Boy doing work around the clock just gonna keep on running trying to get more stuff Jesus Fade out, Meat Boy. Damn, you are a fly eradicator. So we got eight of these things, and now we got six of these things. And now we got three of these things. I don't know if I was counting. So one. And so let's go into the shop. We can pick up a steam sale, which will permanently give us cheap items here, which is going to be very pertinent. I don't know if that was the proper word. We're going to pick up a heart because I can't do anything else with my money. So let's go to the boss. 
mouse, and it's Fistula, probably one of the easiest bosses, so... Uh, let's just see if I can tie Mr. Mega. Go over there! Okay, no, never mind. So, <laughs> that didn't happen. So, Meat Boy scared me, so... We're just gonna activate as many of these as we can at once, because we can do that, and... <laughs> mm, just... Meat Boy, Jesus. Meat Boy, Jesus. Jesus Meat Boy, so... We're just gonna pick up this bomb here, box, which lowers your speed, but we can make up a pill, which will full health. The Emperor, which takes you to the boss. I'll use that next. This increases your speed, and since we just got our speed lowered, it's a good trade. So now I'm just gonna go straight to the boss and break it and drop an extra floor, probably, because, you know, I don't really care that much. So, uh, well, I do care, but I do also care about your time. So we're just gonna fight Loki, who's really not that hard to deal with at all. Like, I can. I'm just gonna sit back here. And, oh, Meat, I forgot Meat Boy gets distracted by those things. He gets very distracted by those things. So, yeah. Loki, stop it. Stop it, bomb fly. Jesus, Meat Boy. You have been completely eradicated in uselessness, except for right when you went back. And then you went back again. But now you're back on him. You're back on him. You're back on him. You're back on him. You're doing work, and now you're not, so. God, Jesus, me boy, you are, for, for a helper, you are not trying to help much here at the moment, so stop running around, stop getting distracted, you have ADHD, ADHD so you, you can't break that thing, me boy, stop it, you don't know what you're doing, so we can pick up this, this, mom's coin purse, another item with tons of pills, so got enough full health pills to last me an army's length, so we got luck up, that's really good. I'll leave a full health pill with me as I go through the rest of these rooms real quick. Okay, yeah, that, this was just too obvious, and it's just one of these, are you kidding me? I give up on looking for stuff in this floor because it's kind of useless, but I do have to say that A, I got the High Priestess card, and uh, I'm just going to use it like right about there. So, another thing that I didn't note is that, uh, have you noticed these spirit hearts? Remember Miter? Higher chance of finding spirit hearts? It's coming in handy right about now. I don't know what I'm going to do when I fight a uh, mom, or maybe not mom, but if I can get to the heart, but this meat boy is going to come in very handy against uh, everything else. But my uh, ability to... I actually found this out. There are no pits in the uh, womb at all whatsoever. Like, if you can walk over stuff, it doesn't matter, because they don't... There's nothing you have to walk over, except for, like, rocks and stuff. So, like, any, anything you can normally walk around. So... We're just fighting a whole bunch of really crappy enemies at the moment because these things are. I've already said it many times, these things are absolute garbage. So, I'm just gonna fire as many shots as I can do it. And we can go over here where we see the Halo. All stats up. I move faster, I shoot harder, I run harder, I ball harder. So, we're just running around trying to find the boss. Like, look at that movement speed. I da I'm like dashing here. I'm like Dashy Kong, right? That's his name. The one who dashes, Dashy Kong. He's the Sonic of the bunch. We know him well. So the goat, ho the goat hoof also adds to the movement speed. If I didn't mention already, so watch me just get railed by everything. But you know, it doesn't actually matter because spirit hearts. That's why. So spirit farts, if you will. So come on, come on, come on, come on. I have to be like super close. And there we go. Run left. We're gonna see. There's quite a few visses. Visses are taken care of by doing this, and I can actually move them way too far for my own good. And pick up a coin. So yeah, Meat Boy, he's doing work. So Meat Boy, he's doing work. So Meat Boy, he is of work doing. He is currently employed full time at the factory. So Gluttony is beaten by my own Gluttony of a Meat Boy destroying him without me even paying attention, so if I was like totally not, not checking my phone, god damn it. Um, so we can pick up a ton of money, a ton of tonny. Oh hey, I found another hidden room, am I like super smart? Let's find a shop, holy crap, so throw another bomb down. I'm using my bombs more shortcuts than anything else. I'm glad I picked up this knack of identifying where and where not. Oh Jesus, champion versions of these things. Let's pick up free stuff, free stuff, free stuff, free stuff, free stuff. Got a card, got a card, got a card. Got a card and bomb. We can got a wheel of fortune. So that will drop down one of those thingies. Which I could use, but I don't really like it. And my luck isn't that great, so I'm just gonna pick back up our full health thing and check out this down here, which is nothing, so I'm just gonna run around. More visits. And 
Abysses are easily beaten by the magical ability of walking around the other way. And that's how we beat one vis, two vis, three vis, a dollar. So pick up another pill. This pill over here will do something, but it's just bad gas. Okay, we need some actual things to happen here, because I'm tired of just saying everything that happens on the screen. Meat Boy, use your factory powers to annihilate these enemy machines. And so we're just going to find another Jesus, Jesus, Jesus fistula. Oh, Jesus, I found miniature champion, uh, whatchamacallit, Larry Juniors. But the Larry Juniors can't handle me. Larry Jr. Got more spirit hearts and I found mom, so we're just gonna go, sweet Jesus. The floor was too long. Pick up the store on the floor before, or floor after, I don't know, I was rhyming. So we're fighting mom, and so the first thing we're gonna do... Oh, you got it's champion mom, champion mom. This is, this got, this, this just got interesting, so... I'm full of spirit hearts, chock full of them. And, uh, right now we're just dealing at quite a bit of damage. I'm just gonna chunk a bomb here. Hoping something exposes itself, but it didn't, so I'm an idiot. So, we're just gonna smack some spiders around after Jesus. And fighting more. Now we've got some greed heads. Greed heads, champion mom can't handle me on the dance floor. This dance floor ain't fit for more than you and me, so no more are you going to be on this dance floor for sure. So we're over here fighting more greed heads. Jesus, 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 stop calling me mom, so we're <laughs> Jesus, I'm like running around, juking out so many spiders, too many spiders, too many spiders, too many spiders. <laughs> Meat Boy's taking care of the enemies. He's he's doing he's he's definitely sidekicking it at the moment while I'm trying to take down Mom. But now with our combined efforts together, we're going to take her down. But that's only right after she has to put down her foot one more time. We pick up five more spirit hearts going into this boss, and our tears just get even faster. I want to tell you guys. I don't think I can tell you guys how ridiculous this is getting. And this was a very long run to be thrown at the end of this, but I mean, you only, my movement speed and my tear speed is right now obscene, but since now that we're in the womb, I have to actually be careful because these things deal a lot of damage. Yeah, a whole heart, and that thing's health was not fair, so that thing's gonna warp as soon as I try to kill it, or not. Ooh, we get a chest over here, which gives us range up. You usually don't find that item over there, but we're finding another area thing of this, and we'll just break some Larry Juniors, some very tiny Larry Juniors, and we can pick up a matchstick or not. I want to keep the goat hoof for the sake of mobility, and I'm just going to go in this room, which is probably a bad idea, but we see some troll bombs and we see some spiders. How about that? And I have to take a heart of damage in return. So that's kind of lame, but another gold chest with a Tammy's head, which gives us a eight shot whenever we want it. But like if I'm in the center of an enemy taking damage, pretty much if I get hit while fighting mom, I'm just gonna activate it. And Jesus, 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 Jesus. More gold chests, finally getting these keys popped in. We got bomb bomb, spirit heart bomb. I've already almost gone through all the spirit hearts already. We're not going to the arena here, because that is not ever worth it gonna be worth it, so. I found out this thing actually likes to eat bombs too. Like, see, look at that. Nom, 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 nom. Look at the damage on that. Ain't that obscene? So, I'm just gonna run and not die. Jesus, has a large mouth. So, there we go. Another chest with the key I can use, and there we go. And more chests with the key I can use, and a key in return with a nickel and a spirit heart. And another one with some more coin. I need to find a shop. Over up, we're gonna find more of these enemies, which I can't seem to rid myself of, but uh, you just gonna take what you can get. Oh, hey, look, another chest room with the key. Okay, and we're fighting death, the one that we don't get to see very often, so. If I'm going to take damage from him, I'm just going to run it. Oh, Jesus, I don't actually, by not often, I mean, I've never seen this one either. What the hell? So he just froze me, or slowed me, but he doesn't even know me, so he can't even slow me, because for now, he's going to have to blow me. And so now he's got his little horse man running around, but he doesn't know I can juke out horses, so horse juking was actually an Olympic sport back in my day, so, you know... In the Olympic sport of horse juking, what you have to do is essentially wait for the stupid horse to stop running around like a... God, Jesus. Horse. Horse stick. Fish stick. What are you doing? 
Like, come on. We're all tired of your crap. And a holy room. And we can pick up... Um, this does what I think it does. Heyo, free boss kill. I don't even need to try on this one. Let's find the boss and let's kill it instantly. So I want to see if I can drop down and face the face the one who destroyed me before. I'm getting mad, mad. So we gotta pretty much find the boss. Now we're finding the upgraded version of uh, the Dukes of the Duke of Flies. And so now we just kill the Duke of Flies pretty quick, and we didn't even get anything for it. So. Um, um, I would have taken damage there if I wasn't smarter, so... Paul Bunyan over here, try thinking he can take me on, but he doesn't know that my Paul Bunyan anti funyan gunyan gumption runyan so... Jesus, 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 so... Gonna kill all the enemies, pick up, uh, they like to drop items. I want to find the boss room, and I want to find a shop. I don't know if there's any more shops in the womb. Because usually it's hard to find a place to buy stuff when you're inside someone's womb. We're fighting Fistula again, because, you know, that was just a fun boss to fight the first time and try to avoid taking damage. But, you know, at the moment we're doing a pretty good job of it, so I'll take compliments to myself. My damage output right now isn't very high, but we're just getting chests every room. This was a luck up pill, so that's going to be <laughs> really good. The more luck we get, the better, so... I guess getting luck up pills are kind of like helping to find more luck up pills. So I also I completely forgot why I was kind of green, so that actually helps. Ooh, we found another one of these rooms, and I can go into the arena on room two. <sighs> We're going for it. Poison touch virus. What are we facing? Fistula. Fistula ain't no big deal. I don't think I've ever shown you the arena down here. I just fought Fistula once. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, I take a heart of damage, but I kill him instantly. And there we go, that's Fistula. Here we go, now we're fighting Loki. Loki on the bottom floor, Loki on the bottom floor, Loki on the bottom floor, Loki on the bottom floor. Bottom floor, Loki can't handle my spectral tears. Spectral tears, I'm crying tears of joy. Because spectral tears takes care of all the bosses for me. And so does Meat Boy, as we see here. Still ain't over there. And there we go, there we go. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it, 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 There we go. Then we pick up, uh, some more money. Another luck up pill. My luck is just getting greener and greener. And here's the boss. And see, if you remember this boss, it's actually, it takes a while, and it's really hard, but the thing is, I found this glitch where if you accidentally tap space, you win. So I've got the halo for appearing in the basement, and the super fan. And we can go to this chest and get another ending, by the way. This is an alternate way to get endings. And we're going to see here, Isaac will find a nail. I was about to say noose. My bad. So we get the nail. And what's he going to do with the nail? He's going to use it to turn himself into the demon. Because the nail is an item that is actually used in the demon thing. So that was how we do this one. And I'll see you all next time.